Okay. Hello again. Uh, welcome back to Pioneer. We're at Roth City on Krause Settlement, where we finished last time. I thought today that we would do this uh, target elimination mission. So I, I talked about how this was one of the kinds of missions that we have yet to do here in Pioneer. But when I double checked this, right, the system, let's see, where can I find him? He's in the Quarg system. The Quarg system, unfortunately, is one of these. It's the big, big, big sun with some gas giants a fair ways away. So, yeah, we're not doing that one that's way too far out so we got a few other combat missions here though we could try those let's see Eshesh AB1 Eshesh AB1 it's fairly close I'd be in trouble. The enemy is very well equipped. How will I be paid? Just visit the local system. Okay. Let's uh, set a route. Hmm, 14 tons out. Okay. That's actually a little further than I thought it would be. We can do that. Certainly. Okay. And let's see. Where are we going again? A shush. A shush. And we're in Sododo. So we can just pop over to the luck. Somewhere nearby for a, to turn this in. So that's good. Back to shush. So that'd probably be another seven tons of fuel, maybe. So we'll gas up. Ah, thirty tons should be more than enough. More than enough. Okay. And let's get out of here. So I know I said last time that I wanted to do some stuff that uh, we hadn't done before yet. And I still do. It's just, uh, well, you have to find it first. And I was, like I said, I was thinking about doing that uh, extermination. Extermination? It's not a bug. Uh, assassination. Mission. But elimination is the word, I suppose. But eh, it's a bad system to do it in. So we skip it. Maybe find another one somewhere else. And before we do it, I probably want to at least look up how these kind of missions, those kind of elimination, elimination missions work. Because I don't know. the train. So we should at least be able to get some action in here. I mean, it's not, probably not going to be as profitable as smuggling was, but, well, you know, you can't really expect combat or a simple mission like this to be as profitable. It'd be nice if they were. So here we are in a shush. A shush A B one. Let's see. That 
is our brown giant. It's a little redder here in Pioneer than some other space games, but that's okay. Alright, we are on target. probably accelerate all the way there too. We've got more than enough fuel. And we've got some backup in the cargo hold. Alright. Let's break. You know, despite playing this for wow, I wanna say Let's see, it's August now, so that be six months. I'm still not particularly good at breaking. I'm better than I was, I think, but it's still kind of nerve-wracking to come in manually. Because I always manage to mess up the time acceleration. Which is the thing. It's not so much the braking that I have a problem with. It's the time acceleration. I'll set it too high and then I'll let it go for too long and break all the while and ruin the approach. Or I will not break in time and ruin the approach. I'll do something else and ruin the approach. I don't know. I'm not very good at it better than I was before, but I still am not happy with this. Like this, this point right here, I could be doing better. don't want to fly past it too quickly, so we'll go ahead and slow down a bit. Look at that, it's a nice looking rock. Nice and red in the glow of its brown dwarf. get a few combat targets. At least two, so we can get some bonus pay. Okay. There we go. Ship detected nearby. That looks like two ships there on the radar. fast, aren't we? Okay, so let's go after this guy first. Mola Mola, who else do we have? A Malabar, big boy. Okay.
probably should have slowed down a little bit more because we're kind of flying right past this guy. But we made, actually, a pretty nice approach, I suppose. We stopped more or less within 20 kilometers of him. That's pretty decent. Stop swinging around, guy. be able to get to him before his shield fully comes up. That'd be a first. Boom. And we've blown past the other guy, because we're flying past the uh, planet fair speed. I probably should have slowed down a bit more. But we are making an approach. That's fine. We're not going to get to the Malabar before his, shield, his shields go up, though. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Not with our lovely plasma accelerator. He's really coming at us. No, not, not quite. Yeah, this is pretty good. kilometers fifteen we almost slow down. <laughs> You know, I wish I could switch the the low power level thrust a little bit easier. That way we could, you know, swap between the one setting and another, make it a little bit easier to do combat approaches. Because even at 73%, sometimes this... Our position feels a lot more you know, volatile than it does at some other times. But I suppose that depends on the the enemy ship as well. Because it's moving towards us, or away from us, I suppose. Uh, depending on what we're doing. There goes the shields. Malabar's got a lot of hull. Look at how much plasma we're putting into it. And it's still just going down at 1%, 1% a shot. Heat's not too bad. There we go.
Okay. The bad guys are gone. Let's go get paid. So, let's see. Martinsons, a six. And one of the things I kind of want to set up for is the elimination missions, the assassination missions. So, if I can find a high tech level and buy some of the sensors that I need here, just going ahead and. Uh, Oh, Sugiyama's Misery, level 6, that, you know, if I could find a proper station here, we just cut back on some of the time we need to, Ooh. nope, eh, pass, <laughs> cut back on some of the time, now uh, Quarg, yeah, pass Quarg, on some of the time that we need to use to get prepared for the assassination missions and we are just not finding any good stations Mailroom. this is a big system seven seven eight eight might do it eight might do it i don't know offhand now what about Hekahini? Hekahini, nope, that's a big system. Old Seal. Kuo's Grip, that's close. Seven, yeah. We gotta do it in the Soul Fed territory. We gotta go to a Soul Fed system to get paid properly. Ooh. Four, ten, okay. And there's a military. That would definitely have it. Okay. So let's go to Westerhof. Let's go to Eskildrua. <laughs> and we've got more than enough gas. 11 tons. We use the rest to fill up. And I'm feeling a little lazy today. So, when we get to our target system, I'm just going to let the autopilot take over. Matosasa. Sasa. How many jumps we got? Two more jumps. Respect the law. Well, I'm not. I'm not smuggling anything here today, so no worries there, Westerhof. All right, one more jump. Respect the law, Westerhof. Okay, so let's pump our gas up and head out to Westerhof. And now we'll let the autopilot take over and uh, relax a bit. That's a bit close to the sun for my liking. And when Elite Dangerous, you have to fuel scoop from the sun, so you get kind of used to to flying by it, but not so much here. It's always a little nerve-wracking to go past the sun. Westerhof on Santos Colony. Nice green thing. Doesn't look like there's anybody docked here. 
their loss. You know, I much prefer this kind of space station, space port, to the uh, the six pads kind of space port you find on smaller uh, surface ports. It's much nicer to land on one of these than it is one of the other ones. Not that I'm doing any landing today. Alright, so thank you, autopilot. Very well, I have uh, paid the bill. No bonus, unfortunately. So, let's gas up. And before we do any shopping, let's take a quick look at what we have here on the message boards. Short term courier, short range courier, uh, some news things. It's September 8th. It's already September. Wow. We could take some medicine there. Local freight transport. Mm -hmm. Fearless mercenary, fast transport, fast ship. Yeah, nothing, nothing particularly interesting in terms of missions, ships. Yeah, meh. Two smallest ships in the game, probably. Bowfin and the Canera. So what I was talking about was here we are, the hypercloud analyzer. Just a ton. That's not too bad. Analyze hyperspace clouds. To determine destination and time of arrival or departure. So, next time we'll start out with buying one of these, fit our ship with it, and then looking for some assassination missions. Yeah, okay, so, another, today was another successful combat mission. Now it brings us up to 41 kills. Average combat rating, not great, but it's better than it was before. But anyways, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all later. Goodbye.